Welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for Land Surveyors, brought to you by EricColburn.com, professional land surveyor source. This video is AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 coordinate systems. The objectives of this video are to show you one, how to set up the drawing coordinate system, and two, set up the survey database coordinate system. To set up the drawing coordinate system, you need to select the second tab of the tool space settings, which I've already done. You'll see at the top the drawing name, in this case is C3D-1. Right click on the drawing name and select Edit Drawing Settings. The screen that opens has five tabs, and the first tab is Units and Zone, which we'll be dealing with. You'll see that there's a place you can select Imperial to Metric Conversion, as shown is International Foot, or you can select U.S. Survey Foot. The Imperial templates come preset with International Foot, and many of you may prefer to change this to U.S. Survey Foot, as that is what you work in, and you can certainly do that right here. I am not going to do that right now because we'll be selecting a state plane coordinate system for the drawing coordinate system and in that process it will automatically change this imperial to metric conversion to the proper uh, foot conversion. Below select no datum no projection and a drop down list of coordinate systems becomes available to you. I'm going to scroll down to USA Rhode Island where I work but you select the area that your project is located in and then available coordinate systems I'm going to expand that and I won't be working in any of these other coordinate systems within the USA Rhode Island um, I will be selecting NAD 83 Rhode Island State Plain US Foot but you'll see that there are other ones based on Harn uh, NAD 27 uh, one, one or two of them in meters, but I, I am going to select NAD 83, Rhode Island State Plain, U.S. Foot. And you'll notice that the Imperial to Metric Conversion, as I mentioned before, has been changed to U.S. Survey Foot as I wanted. So going to click on Apply to save my settings and OK to close that screen. So now you've set up your project drawing with the coordinate system and the definition of, of the, the US or international foot that you wanted and your drawing is all set for that. If you'll be bringing in data from a field book for your surveys into your survey database or if you're taking points from this drawing and transferring them to a survey database it's imperative that you make sure that your survey database is set up with the same coordinate system as the drawing or if they are to be in two separate coordinate systems that's fine if it's appropriate and as long as you're aware that that's what's happening and you know the relationship between the two and that is purposefully what you wanted to do but I bet 95 percent of the time most surveyors would want them on the same coordinate system and that's what I'm going to show you to do today in the tool space again on the left side of the screen select survey and you'll see that there are some survey databases uh, listed here um, from projects that I've worked on I'm going to use this top one uh, 046 to show you how to set the coordinate system on a survey database in later videos we'll show you how to uh, set up the survey database and where to place it uh, you need to have the survey database for your project open so select the survey database and right click on it and select the open survey database once the database is open you can right click again and select edit survey database settings you'll see that the conversion for distance by default is set to international foot and you know this clearly wouldn't be appropriate because my drawing is set up for US survey foot so again if that's all you were changing you can come in and you can select that your distance is in meter or US foot or whatever is appropriate for you I'm going to skip this part right now like I did before for the drawing setup because when I select the state plane coordinate system that I'm using it will automatically set this up for me but I wanted to show that to you 
again, you'll see above it says no datum, no projection. And there's some ellipses buttons over on the right. Select that. And no datum, no projection. Again, select that. And you'll get your drop down list. I'm going to scroll down just like I did for setting up the drawing coordinate system and select USA Rhode Island and available coordinate systems I'm going to open that up and select the same thing I selected for the drawing NAD 83 Rhode Island State Plain US foot click OK and you'll see now that's been selected the conversion for distances has been changed to US foot and this now will make the survey database agree with the drawing Now, if I have points that are in this drawing and I want to upload them to the survey database that will be comparing apples to apples and everything will work fine. Or if I bring in my, my survey field books and I insert those in, into the database and then into the drawing, everything will compare correctly there also. This has been AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for Land Surveyors, brought to you by EricColburn.com, professional land surveyor source.